Uh, I know you've got good luck with both the magic carpet and the elevated radios. Would elevating a magic carpet off the ground like the elevated radios be good or bad? Um, I probably would be bad. And uh, the reason the reason why the magic carpet works so well laying on the ground is it's it's got this beautiful big surface area that's capacitively coupling to the ground mm -hmm. but dimension wise it's not really resonant with anything mm -hmm. so if we were to elevate it um all of a sudden elevated radios elevated radials are decoupled from the ground itself yeah so in order for them to do anything they need to be resonant so if we've got a quarter wave vertical radiator we're going to need quarter wave ground radials and we're not yeah. going to have that with um yeah you know, with with a with a a, a magic carpet uh faraday cloth uh right. suspended above the ground so someone sent me a question similar to this the past couple of weeks and they said mm -hmm. If I had a 48 inch wide by 20 foot long magic carpet, would it be directional? Mm. Okay. And I said, probably not. You might get a little bit of directionality out of it. But the reason for the magic carpet is it's just simple to set up, right? Roll it out, put an antenna on it, maybe put a jumper on it for mm -hmm. kicks and giggles. It's super simple and it works. It's not the greatest ground plane out there by any means, but it will turn, it'll take like a 17-foot uh, whip and do wonders. Yeah. 10 through yeah. 40, no problem. Um, if you want directionality, if you want even more efficiency, remember, guys, that resonance does not necessarily mean efficient. Going back to our previous question, um, then the elevated radials give you that, but they give you gain in one direction or another. That's kind of a trade-off. So a vertical antenna, which it should be omnidirectional, you get a little, you get some gain when you start elevating those radials, one or two radials, uh, like the Poto Performer, uh, mm -hmm. the, the stick, uh, the buddy pole vertical that uh, I used to have. All of those with those elevated uh, radi elevated counterpoise or radial. Um, it's it's different but they work so there's no wrong way to do it now but i think if you were to actually elevate that first of all i don't know how you would do it without i don't know maybe some saw horses and then two saw horses in the middle with you'd have to have something under it solid yeah i, I mean then you're just defeating the whole purpose of the magic carpet Yep. At that yep. point, you just do the elevated radials. Yeah. So I'm going to pull something up here um, because, of course, the the whole ground screen magic carpet thing, the impetus to that, it was from an article by Robert Sherwood of uh, Sherwood yeah. Engineering. Yes. And um, I just got to – so if we're going to scroll down here to the bottom of his site, he's got posted – other tips and white papers. Ground screen, alternative to a buried radio system, complete issue. This is a copy of the May 1977 issue of Ham Radio Magazine. And uh, yeah, right there, May Ham Radio, May 77. So this is not a new concept. They were doing this 50 years ago or more. I got, Dave came up with the idea. Um, I did some research. We came up with this article. But in the point being, with um, and it's a and, and it's it's a really good it's really good you should read it if if you're really interested in more about how this whole ground screen thing works, uh, read it. But um, it he goes in here and he talks about I don't know if I can find the exact phrase the the exact paragraph or not because it's been a while since I've read it last, but. Uh, he talks about directivity and to be direct to to have any level of directivity with the ground screen or the magic carpet you're going to have to approach lengths of at least a quarter wave in size on the ground of the of the faraday cloth or the or the window screen in order to get that kind of effect so 
you don't have to you don't have to plop your antenna down in the middle of the cloth you don't have to crisscross it you don't have to do all of this kind of crazy stuff you can put the you can put the the antenna on top of the cloth you can put it next to the cloth you can make the cloth go this way or you can make it go that way it really don't make a difference because you're not going to be directive until that length of cloth is a quarter wavelength or more so right and at 20 meters that's going to be at least 16 feet uh no yeah 16 yeah yeah 32 yeah. is a quarter wave on 40. Mm -hmm. so 16 is going to be a quarter wave on 20. yeah so yeah he, the guy asked me 48 by 20 then you would start to get some directionality to it a little bit a little bit yeah. and i mean it's, it's it, kind of where it's at so yeah yeah if you're going to elevate that then the, why because now you're just making it difficult yeah i think um and then if you're going to have something elevated, just use elevated radios like the photo performer. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. Exactly. Um, on, on a side note, how is the roof of a car a good ground plane? I think, you know, the vehicles make excellent ground planes for uh, HF antennas. You know, uh, we've bonded whips, you know, the, the ground side of the whip to the frame of the vehicle with excellent mm -hmm. results. Um, Two weeks ago for winter field day, uh, Dave modified his 40 through 10 meter end fed half wave so that he decoupled the transformer so that the wire was a quarter wave on the 80 meter band and he used the, his vehicle as the ground. <laughs> of, right. And he had excellent, excellent results on 40 yeah. and, on 80 and actually 160 meters. So right so you can use a car as a ground plane um you're gonna ha you're gonna probably want to do something well first of all you don't want to have it running yeah you don't have too much noise from the uh ecu uh abs all that other stuff creates terrible hash you got to turn it off if you do have it running then there's a lot more bonding and stuff that you got to do and it's just a pain and you know what yep um so yeah but you know people run mobile all the time too so but we always use the two uh for two meters we always use a roof as a ground plane right yes we do mag mount two meter or 11 meter cb up there and trim it down to 10 meters and mm -hmm. the same uh, results kb9 vbr antennas are simple effective and affordable vhf and uhf antennas for amateur radio mers public safety and gmrs Made in the USA with quality parts. Get yours online at jpole-antenna.com.